What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're on the Shield TV Pro. We're going to take a look at GeForce Now running with 4K AI upscaling. I haven't done these type of, this type of video in a while. And we're going to use Kena Bridge of Spirits as the example here because I've been playing this game a good bit. It's a really beautiful looking game and I think it's a, a good one to, uh, to show this off. So jumping into my settings here, my stream quality as always for me, 1080p, 60, no adjustment for poor network, max bit rate. This is what I tend to be able to get away with. Uh, I don't have Ethernet going right now. We are on Wi-Fi and uh, 5 gigahertz. Everything should work fine. Now, for me, I typically run between 24 and 30 uh, on my ping, milliseconds on my ping. I'm at 28 now on this one. And, of course, with 1 gig internet, I shouldn't have any trouble with my bandwidth or uh, packet loss or anything like that. So I have a good connection. Uh, good to go here for jumping in. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the settings. I always like to show what we're running here in game. Full screen, 1080p, DX12, and uh, maxed out on all the graphics for this game with motion blur turned off. So we're getting to the game, and let's take a look at AI upscaling. So it is active right now for the 4K AI upscale. Of course, GeForce Now only supports 1080p right now, so they added this feature last year to the Shield TV Pro, and it's really cool. So we'll go in here, and you can see it's active, and we are on medium as the default, which is usually where I'm at. We'll switch it up to high here. You can see the change there, and we'll go back and take a look. And the reason I, I rarely like to use high is it's, almost, it's too much sharpening. It's too much outlining. And uh, for most games uh, and content and uh, movies and stuff, it's a little bit too much. So I tend to run the default medium most of the time and sometimes low, which, speaking of low, we'll switch over. You still get a lot of the goodies from the AI upscaling, but things just won't be quite as sharp. I think for a lot of people, this might actually be a personal preference where they feel like they have less of that outlining. Now, this grass here kind of shows it more than most of the game, and I hope you hang out and check out some more gameplay after we look at this because you'll see not everything looks like that. The game looks really sharp, looks, looks really good. So go back in here to AI upscaling again, and what I want to do... Go back to medium for our baseline. This is where our gameplay will be at later. And like I said, this is the setting. I typically tend to leave it set to for games. But I also want to show you the upscaling without AI. Because when you're set to 4K and, and your your output is to 4K, you're, you're never really able to fully turn off any type of upscaling. So you can go to basic, which is the absolute basic that you would get for pushing this, this through to your output. And you'll see all the AI upscaling type stuff go away but you'll still get a really nice picture. I mean, honestly, it's going to come down to your personal preference, and the Shield TV Pro is just still one of my favorite devices, not just for GeForce Now, but for cloud, um, but especially for messing around with GeForce Now. And you have so many options, how you want to run your games, how you want them to look, how you want the upscaling to work. Um, it's really, really cool. I love options, so I like this kind of thing. Now, jumping over to Enhanced, you'll get just a little bit sharper image here. Still the AI not turned on. And uh, again, this may be something that you prefer. I, I really suggest everybody goes through, plays with these settings with different games and see what you really like to run. Um, like I said, for me, pretty much default medium AI upscaling on for GFN. And I even use it for Hulu, uh, live TV and other things that are only 1080p stream. Um, and it looks really nice uh, for those as well. So not just for games, but also great for G4s now. So we'll go back in here, go back to our AI enhanced and we'll go back to medium. And that's pretty much what we're going to run it at. So I hope you guys will hang out, stick around. i got about three or four more minutes of gameplay with this setting on so that you can see the game running, see some combat, see some action, see how things are working here for Keenan Bridges Spirits on the Shield TV Pro with the AI upscaling on. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you in the next one. the true age of these shrines. The people who built them have long been forgotten, but their work still remains, watching over the forest like ancient guardians. Taro's spirit has corrupted the shrines and sealed the entrance to the guardian tree. I can feel Taro's presence there. I've marked the shrine locations on your map. Thank you, Rusu. I'll work to clean the shrines. Can you pick that up? 